Hey YouTubies, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be transforming this blazer into a two-piece set. Before I get started, I just want to apologize for being MIA for so long. There was so much content that I wanted to post in between the time, but it just didn't feel right with this whole Black Lives Matter movement um, going on. And I've just been going through so much personally. Um, I've been struggling with some minor depression. So I just didn't feel comfortable filming or posting anything during this time. But I'm just going to leave it there because I could go on and on. I do plan on making videos around black businesses and designers. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe. So let's just jump into the video now. So this is a vintage Burberry blazer that I bought off of Macari for about like 20 bucks. It was a good deal. <laughs> and I want to transform this into a two-piece set. Um, I'm going to do like a crop blazer and then a skirt. I might mess around with the buttons, maybe uh, put them going across. It just depends on how I feel. I do want to keep this kind of simple because I haven't sewn in so long. I used to design, I would say like four years ago, three years ago, something like that. And I stopped because I just got so busy with life and sewing takes up a lot of time. So I wasn't able to put the dedicated time to that. So here I am, I haven't sewed in about three years. So I'm a little rusty. So don't come at me for my cricket lines if I have any, but I've been wanting to make a two-piece set for myself for so long, but I just kept on putting it off because I know the amount of time it takes just to, you know, make an ensemble. So I finally found the time and I'm going to do it. So my first thing that I like to do, I like to track if there's like any sorts of lining, which there is. There's a brown on brown lining and there is shoulder pads. I might keep that in there because I like the structure of the shoulder but um, I'm just kind of just eyeballing everything so don't come at me I can't give you a step-by-step -step tutorial I just honestly just think of it and then I do it I don't have like a whole process for this so if you're looking for a step-by-step -step of how to do something I'm not that person because I just wing it honestly so I use a piece of chalk to mark wherever I'm going to cut so I'm just going to look at the blazer and see like how crop I want it to make it. Um, let me actually try it on to see how it fits. Okay, so this is how it fits. I kind of want it to be cropped like around here. Well, I have to think about the pockets. So yeah, so yeah, I'm going to make it two buttons on the top and then the bottom will have the dress. Okay, I'm just going to button everything. Again, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial, as you can see, I just wing everything. So, not that person. I did go to school for fashion, but it wasn't really sewing focus. I didn't go to school for design. I graduated with fashion merchandising degree with a concentration in styling, but I didn't go to school for design. I did take some classes when I was getting my associate's degree for sewing. So I know basics of sewing and then the rest I taught myself. But yeah, let me shut up and start marking. So now I marked it and now I'm gonna put it on the table to cut it. So I cut the blazer into two pieces now. And now I'm going to create a seam allowance by folding um, about a half an inch in. And now I'm gonna pin that and then I'm gonna sew it. So now I have everything pinned and I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing. Yep, 
you don't want to do this mistake. I'm so annoyed. I've like more than halfway through sewing the freaking blazer and I sewed the sleeve to the bottom stitch. I'm so annoyed right now. But I have to take the seam ripper and rip that. So this is so annoying because not only is the white stitching blended into the blazer because there are some threads of white in the, I think this is 12? <laughs> no, 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 no. Something like that, blazer. So it's making it even harder to seam rip it. I'm just so annoyed right now. Make sure when you're sewing or repurposing something that the sleeve is not in the way. I was more than halfway done with this and now I have to rip it all up to redo it. I'm so annoyed. Okay, take two of sewing the seam on the freaking jacket. Top is finished and this is what it looks like so far of course I won't wear it with a shirt like this but after I will model it and show how I would style it so if it's on the mannequin for right now oh it looks really good I'll just cut off the excess thread because I don't want that showing but it came out really good actually. That's how it looks with the clothes and I think it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the skirt. So this is what we're working with. Have to be careful because the lining is still attached to it. So um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this honestly. I never made a skirt. I've only made pants. But skirts should be easier. So this is what it fully looks like. I'm gonna try it on myself just so I know it would fit. Stop rolling, what are you doing? So, honestly, I kind of like how this looks to make it diagonally like that. Give me a minute, I'm going to think this through. Okay, I figured out how I'm gonna do the skirt. So, it's gonna be a wrap skirt and I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it like on a diagonal to make it like funky. And uh, all I have to do is just stitch the top and move the buttons over. So I'm just gonna mark where I have to move the buttons. Now I'm going to fold over the top of the skirt to create um, seam allowance to be able to stitch. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, everything's all pinned and now I'm just gonna sew and after that all I'm gonna have to do is replace the buttons and then I'm done.
So we're close to being done. I finished sewing the top seam right there on the skirt. So now it's foldable and it is able to close. However, we do need to move the buttons. So I'm gonna seam rip the buttons and then hand sew them back on to fit in place to the new spots where it needs to close at. finish a skirt and I moved the buttons where they need to be now and now I'm gonna complete the outfit and show you guys what the final product looks like I'll be back I'm so in love with how this came out I haven't sewn in so many years or recreated anything in so long that I didn't think that this was gonna come out so good but it came out amazing it just looks so cute and chic and on trend right now this looks like something that you can get out of Saks Fifth Ave or, or something. It looks like a true designer two-piece set, honestly. Like I mentioned, it is Burberry. But can we just take a moment? I'm so happy. It came out amazing. today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this recreation of this two-piece set make sure you guys check out the links that i'm putting down below oh i hate these i hate i hate endings so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys check out the links that i'm putting down below and also don't forget to like share and subscribe and then i'll see you next video guys bye